Well, hello, campers from here and the great beyond. Welcome to the Wicked Campfire Podcast. I am Phyllis McKenzie, your guide into the unknown, and today's visit takes us to one of the most haunted places in Nebraska. So grab your gear and let's go ghost hunting. So, what brings us to Nebraska today, you ask? That would be Sentinel Hall and it is located in the town of Valentine in Nebraska. So what we'll be trying to find out basically today going forth in all other episodes are a few couple of things. That is one, the backstory of the location. Two, is this place haunted or not? Three, what haunts this place? Four, are there good or evil spirits? Five, are they trapped or maybe are they just passing by or have they been there? They have nowhere else to go. And uh, another thing would be, are there presences of vortexes or previous portals here? Like health portals or afterlife portals. And have there been any paranormal activities happening recently or maybe in the past that people have witnessed and have been recorded? And finally, are there haunted objects? that can be proven and are currently present within the location. So, Sentinel Hall, let's start with its background. What is this building and what makes it haunted and all that? So, Sentinel Hall is a building that was designed in 1897 by one Charles Bendoff and was built in 1898. So this is currently the oldest standing building in Valentine and it was once used as a school for middle school and high school students of Cherry County School District and currently the building stands as a museum for the National Registry of Historical Places. So if you want to go for a visit, just hop on a plane, hop on a bus, go to Nebraska, visit Sentinel Hall, maybe you might find something intriguing there but please try not to get a ghost attachment or a spirit attachment i don't want any of my followers or any of my viewers or any of my listeners having a paranormal ghost going back home with them remember to carry your sage remember to carry your holy water because whoo attachments are bad news anyway back to the backstory currently it has 12 rooms which are all reserved as museums and they hold different kinds of objects including personal collections like the Herlock Bell collections. So what is the backstory in terms of the hauntings? So in the mid 1940s when it was once a school, a girl attending that school which is not known if she was in middle school or in high school was poisoned via a clarinet reed and suffered a heart attack which according to reports she died from. So there have been reports of cold spots, strange noises, like the sound of music playing from nowhere, and the general eerie feeling of Sentinel Hall, and reports of a visual manifestation of an apparition, which could be the young girl from 1940 who died, along with a rocking chair that was observed to be rocking on its own, was in there. You can just imagine that. Walking into a room, you're trying to take a tour, and then this rocking chair just out of nowhere decides to go rock a bye baby on all of y'all. Oh, that's just scary. That's just scary even thinking about it. So, according to the backstory, it's an old, old building. And what do old buildings have? Ghosts. That's just not in movies. Old buildings all have ghosts. Especially those from the 1800s. Something must have happened in the 1800s. I don't know what. But I think the gates of hell were unlocked then. Because any building that's haunted. Or any bridge or any place that's haunted. Its backstory comes from the 1800s. And somebody had to die back then. And in question of is this place haunted? Yes. By a small girl. Which we will know if she's good or evil because she could be out for vengeance or it could just be a girl that's trapped doesn't know how to get to the afterlife has been there since the 1940s it's now 2022 she still doesn't know to go back and 
she's lost her memory and all that and i feel sad about the ghost but what haunts it it's this little girl name quite unknown is she good and evil she's good but evil too if you were poisoned and you had a heart attack i would be really salty i'd be a really salty ghost but since she was a little girl she must have a sweet side to her so is she trapped absolutely this ghost is a trapped ghost she died miserably she can't leave she is there she is the one who haunts it but here's the weird thing in brownville still in the nebraska there's this place that's called captain bailey house and in there in that house somebody haunts it and guess what this ghost also died of poisoning and came back from the dead to haunt that place so in browning we have a ghost in valentine we have a ghost both in nebraska both ghosts died from poisoning probably not the same type of poison but still poisoned and now they came back just to haunt the place so these are trapped and there is a very big chance of vortexes or portals and you might be wondering what are these vortexes what are these portals so in times of a in terms of a vortex a vortex is like a doorway it's like a doorway to all things evil some people say it's a doorway to hell some will say it's a doorway to oblivion some will say it's a door to purgatory but basically both vortexes and portals are doors but there is a difference in terms of a vortex a vortex you'll have to you'll basically require mirrors and what way two mirrors facing each other this is why i'm very skeptical about mirrors including the one that's just at the foot of my bed i'm trying to move it but i don't know where i'll move it to because it's just really scary something might pop up from the mirror and i'm not in the mood for any ghost right now so when you have two mirrors facing each other they create a vortex and what is that when you try to look into two camera two what are they called mirrors that are facing each other you'll realize that it's just an in, an infinite reflection like the reflection never ends it's just a reflection upon a reflection of the very same thing it's just a reflection of both mirrors so it's just an ending it's like a forever going reflection and through that you will get to see things that the human eye cannot see because of sensory deprivation you'll get to see that when you just concentrate you're there on your own you'll get to see it but in terms of portals a portal you have to open it one way or another let's say during a séance or maybe you decided to invoke some evil demon or maybe somebody did a sacrifice opened an altar anything like that it will open a portal and portals are very hard to close it's not like a vortex a vortex can just basically shatter one of the mirrors or just cover one of the mirrors and prevent anything from passing through but portals portals for those who just love playing with Ouija boards for those who just love playing with pentagrams for all those who think séances are just some funny business there's nothing funny at all about these three things you could end up opening the gates of hell without knowing you could end up crossing something without knowing you could end up having an attachment i think actually actually have another episode where we where just talk about portals and attachments and all that but basically there has to be a portal and or vortex in sentinel hall because there's no way anyone can explain how all the way in valentine and all the way in browning they have the same type of haunting so let me explain Let's say for example I'm the ghost. Well, I'm not, but let's say I'm the ghost in Sentinel Hall. And let's give me a ghost name. I'm a little girl. So what name should I have? Um Susie. Yeah, there we go. That's a ghost name. Susie. 
I'm Susie the ghost and I'm in Sentinel Hall and I'm actually the real one I'm the one who got poisoned and died and now I'm in Sentinel Hall but there is a portal why because somebody just some dumb person decided to have a seance there they crossed over demons I'm a spirit they crossed over demons and when this demon crosses over and somebody else in Captain Bailey house decides to open another portal it becomes like a door in a hallway that spirits and demons can cross through so this spirit or this demon that came through the portal in sentinel hall decides to take my identity and it's evil it's very very evil and it decides to turn itself into something else and goes into captain bailey house and poses as a ghost similar to me but there's a difference this entity is probably evil and me as an entity I'm probably an apparition a ghost a reflection of what I once was but this other thing it's a demon now this thing is what gets attached to you this demon that came through the portal is what will get attached to you this is why you find out that some people go to haunted places and then they come back and say oh some very terrible things have happened to them or maybe they're seeing things that are not there or maybe they're starting to feel things they're starting to dream weird things they're starting to see things that is an, an attachment but for ghosts here's the trick ghosts don't like attachments they are territorial ghosts are often trapped wherever they died that's where they stay they don't move they stay within the location why they're only familiar with that place and they had unfinished business with that place and they only become bad when they sense that it's harmful to them so this little girl that's here you see she's not doing that much when it comes to sentinel hall it's just that she's rocking the chair or maybe you can hear noises you can hear music and probably you hear the sound of music because maybe this ghost when it was once a child it loved music so much and the music you're hearing it's its favorite tune and the cold spots that you feel it's probably like what do i call it it's the feeling of having the ghost near you often you'll find that when people go out for ghost hunting it the temperature around you changes either it goes from hot to cold or from super cold to super hot you realize that there's an entity close by so all those cold spots that people are feeling it's either a memory of the ghost or maybe the ghost once was there and whatever you're feeling it's a residual energy or maybe it's actually there that's why you're feeling the temperature changes and when it comes to the strange noises it may be that this child is trying to communicate with you so starting a séance is not a good thing just go with an EMF box please don't start a séance i beg you i don't want to have my my listeners out there going out on social media trying to find somebody to get rid of the spirit so for the love of god don't start a séance just go with ghost hunting equipments EMFs ramp pods spirit boxes music boxes anything that its energy can be used to communicate with these entities but i'm still on that part of vortexes and i think i should i should actually have an episode when it comes to captain bailey house and i think i'll do it for the next episode which is on monday but vortexes i need to hear a conversation on social media for those who live in nebraska valentine and have been to sentinel hall or if you don't live there but you have been to sentinel hall what have you seen what have you felt what have people told you what are the stories that go around this place because i am quite sure that there is more than one entity not just that girl in sentinel hall and the eerie feeling that people get 
may be the other entities that are there, the evil that lurks in there, because there's no haunted place that has pure ghost. This is not Casper's house. There has to be an evil entity that's holding back this ghost that's trying to move on forward. And for those who have been there, have you seen any signs of portals or vortexes? Let's say pentagrams drawn or maybe they were cleared or maybe you hear that there was a sacrifice done here once or maybe twice or maybe you hear that somebody else was killed or maybe the location where this girl died from when she was poisoned plus when she died where was she and are there energies within the location where she was poisoned and when she was died because you'll find that these are places where you'll get the most the most reactions when it comes to this ghost. Uh, you'll get the most interactions where that person died, where, let, in this case, where they were poisoned, what device was used. If it's that reed, that claret reed could be a trigger for this ghost as well. And uh, mentioning familiar names, so let's say the name of the school, the name of the district, whatever they used to love to do in the 1940s, playing the favorite song because they hear music, playing that favorite tune, maybe on the piano or maybe actually humming the tune itself, becomes a trigger or becomes a welcoming form of invitation, if I might say, for the ghost. And maybe sitting on the rocking chair just sitting there and just asking questions where you're there just grab your spirit box sit on the rocking chair do anything around these areas not just around the building itself go to specific rooms the rooms where this girl slept the rooms where you get most interactions where this person died uh, where you hear the most noises where you hear the most sounds and also the direction in which Bailey house faces because I'm sure if you use your map you don't have to like use your brain to calibrate everything but if you use your map and try to find in what direction from Sentinel house that the Bailey house is at then you just might be able to find the vortex or the portal please drop by on social media on Twitter and on Instagram and Facebook links will be in the description I want to hear from you I want to hear from all of you for those who've gone for investigations at sentinel hall or for those that live in valentine nebraska please tell me what you know about this place tell me what you've heard for all those in brownville as well i want to hear about captain bailey house we can compare notes and also investigate a little bit more but campers this is the end of today's adventure i hoped i just hope that you've gotten a lot from this because this was our first episode and why not? We will be traveling around the United States, around the rest of the globe and seeing what haunted places have the most activities. Today's was Nebraska and Valentine Sentinel Hall. Hashtags. Wicked Campfire Podcast. Hashtag. Phyllis McKenzie. Hashtag Sentinel Hall. Use that on social media. I'll check you out. Drop us a DM. I reply DMs. For all those that have been following us on Twitter all these months, are waiting for this podcast it has been exactly 11 months of waiting i remember i posted on august that oh the podcast is coming up and you all patiently waited so thank you thank you thank you so much also check out our second podcast kira life podcast and all streaming platforms for all those that are in love with art it has nothing completely nothing to do with paranormals but anyways I'll set out the fire right now and I will bid you all a great night. Try not to get haunted. Good night.